Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be taking a look at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic of waves and sound. The title is Name That Harmonic Open-Ended Air Columns. Uh, that's that's uh, things like a flute that are open to the air on either side. This is the second uh, second in a series in a series of three Name That Harmonic concept builders. Um, the first one was strings. That one I would recommend if you want more detail. This one's going to go a little bit quicker through things because the assumption is you've already seen that one because it technically comes before this one. So harmonics, just a quick review. Remember, as a wave travels through a medium, this time like the air in a flute, I think that's a typo, uh, <clears throat> it will bounce back when it reaches a boundary like the end of the fruit, flute. Certain frequencies will interact in a way that the constructive interference will always happen at the same place. We call this spot the anti-node. Other spots will always have destructive interference. These are the nodes. Uh, this only happens with certain frequencies where you get nodes and anti-nodes. These frequencies are called harmonics. So we see our first harmonic, which is our lowest frequency, is a little different. With the string, remember it started at a node, went to an antinode, and came back to a node. Here we have an antinode at the end because it's going from enclosed air to open air. It reflects back off the end erect instead of inverted, and so we get an uh, antinode here at the end. We get a node in the middle and another anti-node at the other end, since the same thing is happening there. If we go up to the first, second harmonic, we can see that once again, we have to have anti-nodes at the ends, and we will now have two nodes. So last time, first harmonic had one anti-node. This time, first harmonic has one node. Second harmonic has two nodes. And you can probably imagine how we're going to do the apprentice level. When you get to the apprentice level, first of all, you'll notice that the ends are anti-nodes, so that's a difference from what you saw in strings. And, but here we just count the nodes. So there's one node, two nodes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, not sixteen. Ten. This is the tenth harmonic of this flute or other open-ended uh, instrument. By the way, most uh, wind instruments are some kind of in-betweenness of um, open-ended and closed-ended uh, air columns because they taper and all kinds of other things. The reeds at one end, um, you can put a mute on like a trumpet or something. That all changes how these work. So they're kind of in-between. These are very simple. Uh, examples um, here. All right, so that's the apprentice level. That's all you do. You count the number of nodes. If there are 10 nodes, it's the 10th harmonic. If there were only three nodes, if it ended like right here, then it would be the third harmonic. Okay. All right, moving on to the um, frequencies. So frequencies are the same as the last time. I'm not going to spend a long time doing this, but the frequency of the nth harmonic is n whoops, is n times the frequency of the first harmonic. Let's see how that works in our problem here. The fundamental or first harmonic frequency of an open-ended air column is 50 hertz. Remember, that's always the lowest or smallest frequency. The same air column is vi capable of vibrating with several different standing wave patterns. Identify the standing wave pattern for the harmonic that has a frequency of 250 hertz. So we remember our equation, Fn equals n times F1. If we want to solve for the harmonic, which is n, then we have to divide, get, get it by itself. So we divide both sides by F1. So we have n equals Fn over F1. We plug in our numbers, Fn for whatever harmonic this is. The frequency is 250 hertz. We have 50 hertz for our first harmonic. And so we get 5. 250 divided by 50 is 5. So that means this is the fifth harmonic. Let's 
Okay, and if it's the fifth harmonic, we start at an anti-node, and every half node is a harmonic. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so once again, to number those out, um, or if you want to count nodes, which is how we typically do it, we have one node, two nodes, three nodes, four nodes, five nodes. And of course, they draw the ones going the other direction as well in kind of a pink or slightly less color. Um, I'm just using orange here. All right, so that's the picture you'd pick if, if you had these numbers. Once again, just to run through that, we used our equation for the frequency between different harmonics. We solved for n. We put the frequency of the harmonic we're working with at the top. We put the fundamental frequency at the bottom or the frequency of the first harmonic down at the bottom. We divide, we get our answer. That's the number of heart, the harmonic. Five gives us the fifth harmonic. We pick a, a picture that has five nodes because that would be the fifth harmonic. All right, moving on to the wizard level and um, and uh, wavelength. So wavelength, remember, the, the length of the wave is two times the length of the air column divided by the wavelength. Um, two because each uh, harmonic is um, half a wavelength, so we need the two in there. Um, an open-ended air column has a length of uh, length of 75 centimeters. I definitely identify the standing wave parameter for a harmonic that has a wavelength of 30 centimeters. So here's our wavelength. This is our L. So we remember our equation was wavelength equals two. Oops, that's not a two. Uh, just make it a two. There we go. L over N. If we are trying to solve for n, which harmonic that is, we need to get n in the numerator. It's out of the denominator. We divide both sides by lambda, by our wavelength, and we get n equals 2l over lambda. So we can plug into that n equals 2 times 75 centimeters divided by 30 centimeters, the wavelength. Centimeters cancel, we don't have any units left. Uh, two times 75 is 150, 150 divided by three is five. Um, and so that means we are at our fifth harmonic. Okay, a uh, little picture of that. Um, just, you could do it without doing any math. Remember, you have to start at a node Remember, each time down is a uh, is a harmonic, so we know that one full wavelength, crest to crest, is a full wavelength. We have thirty centimeters. So our next crest to crest would also give us thirty centimeters. We're now at sixty centimeters. Um, and so if that's 60 and we have to get to 75, that means we need another half of one. Half of one would be 15 centimeters. I'm running out of room, so I'll leave off the centimeters there. And that would give us 75, which as we figured out over here is our one, two, three, four, fifth harmonic. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning with us here about uh, some wonderful flutes and piccolos, things like that. Um, and uh, be sure and click that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And we'll catch you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.